What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today, SME released Hacks 2.8 Beta, which if you don't know what Hacks is, it is the foundation of homebrew essentially. It's SME releasing a new version of Hacks is him essentially updating the foundation of homebrew itself. Hacks 2.8 Beta is particularly exciting because SME has found a way to bypass Nintendo's brand new level of security, which is PASLR, which is the pseudo ASLR security memory randomization that they put into their brand new games to try to randomize the memory layout so that hackers can't get in there and inject information to be able to utilize exploits in those games. Now after doing some research, this is my understanding. I am trying to deliver this information to my best ability, but 3DS modding, the 3DS modding scene is a fairly complex thing, so talking about features like PASLR that aren't really documented anywhere in particular, you just have fragmented information everywhere, well I'm trying to bring that information together to paint a clearer picture for you guys, so that's what we're doing here on Pixel News. Now, what is PASLR in particular? This is Nintendo's new layer of security that they added, you know, months ago to stop new games from becoming exploitable. Well, it is address space layout randomization. It's an added layer of security designed to prevent rogue programs from modifying the memory, which is essentially hacks. Now this PASLR has not only made it hard to exploit games, it's made applications like Hans, which is an application within Homebrew Launcher to be able to modify games, apply patches, be able to do ROM hacks and stuff. Well, that's kind of been out of commission since this new PASLR is coming into play. From my understanding, PASLR is Nintendo's last line of defense for the 3DS without having to create an all new security software for the 3DS, which let's be honest, I don't think that they're going to do that this late in the 3DS's lifespan and with the Nintendo Switch coming out very soon and their focus being laser sharp on that right now, with them even kind of dropping support for the Wii U, they're not going to do that. They're literally just hoping that this PASLR will work out and they're probably Probably gonna keep patching up little things here and there that they can but ultimately Nintendo's not gonna be able to get past this PASLR this was incredible that me was able to defeat this level of randomizing the memory now I'm looking for information for PSLR. I found a couple of insightful comments that have some, it looks like some pretty solid information. Now this was taken from OCD3DS and he kind of talks about PSLR. This was a few months ago when PSLR was still kind of a problem. Once all the other exploitable games that have PSLR applied to them bypass PSLR and the exploit itself, pretty much means the exploit is invincible by Nintendo's own standards. The final nail in the coffin for PSL would be if SME and Hacks 2.8 or something is able to properly launch games with PSLR applied from within Homebrew Launcher. Then all of these PSLR exploit games will be able to be installed through something similar to exploit installer on vanilla consoles once again. Sure, PSLR makes ROP harder to write and the code certainly gets longer and more complicated. However, with the similarity between how these exploits work, bypassing PSLR for these exploits is probably only a matter of time. And this was written three months ago and this all came to fruition thanks to SME, who has in fact bypassed the PSLR. So. That was all pretty technical. There's another comment that describes what PSLR actually does fairly well, and this is from SD Rock Caber Seb. Gosh, that was a long name. Imagine you need to replace a piece of code. You know it's at memory position 100, so you wobble over and replace it. Job done. Now, that's without PSLR. Now you add PSLR in, it's not at 100 anymore. It could be anywhere as it all gets moved around. The memory literally gets all moved around and whatnot. Now before they actually had layouts of the memory for certain games, that's what they used, but now all that, there's no more layout, it's all random. So SME essentially has cracked the code of PSLR, which is honestly incredible. So yeah guys, this is absolutely incredible news that SME has bypassed PASLR and is now bringing Hans back into commission and is able to find a ton of new exploits going into the future. Yes, that means tons of new exploits are possible once again thanks to PSR being 
bypassed. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you excited about Hacks 2.8? Are you going to load it up onto your 3DS and try it? Let me know all that more in the comment section below. Love to see what you guys got to say. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to all of you guys who are watching the show. Happy holidays to one and all you guys. Seriously, go spend time with your family. If you've got your family with you, man, it's important. Go eat that good food. Go with, open up those presents. Go make those memories, man. Go smell the Christmas tree. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew.